underneath Yellowstone that if it erupts in a maximum eruption called Category 8, it could literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. Yellowstone has always been a hotbed of excitement, drawing in hordes of tourists with its jaw-dropping attractions. But now, there's an extra reason to be careful while you explore. We can't start a video about Yellowstone without mentioning the Grand Canyon. Over time, the mighty Yellowstone River has sculpted this magnificent canyon, stretching an impressive 20 miles in length and plunging to depths of 1,200 feet. The lower falls steal the show as the river cascades down a staggering 308 feet. That's about twice the height of Niagara Falls. The impact when it strikes the canyon floor creates a mesmerizing sight, with foam and mist shooting hundreds of feet into the air. The rocks at the base of the falls are constantly wet as the mist comes down, so they have vibrant green moss on them throughout the year. As the river races along, the foam subside, revealing its true color crystal clear. It's the presence of algae and moss that gives the water a remarkable green hue. All of this combines to create a visual that you just can't find anywhere else. We also can't forget about the mammoth hot springs. Here, a unique combination of heat, water, minerals, and limestone has given rise to this fascinating geological phenomenon. As the hot water rises from deep within the earth, it dissolves calcium carbonate from the limestone layers underground. This dissolved calcium carbonate, known as travertine, is carried to the surface by the ascending hot springs. That brings us to another popular gem within Yellowstone National Park, the Upper Geyser Basin. This place is like the jackpot of geothermal wonders, boasting the highest concentration of geothermal features in the entire park. And right at the heart of it all is the legendary Old Faithful Geyser. If you want to witness the spectacle of a geyser eruption, this is definitely the place to be. The park even has the power to predict the eruptions of not just one, but five large geysers in this incredible basin. There's something new brewing, and it's terrifying. In the span of a mere 24 hours, the park experienced something quite unnerving. A colossal crack, a whopping 100 feet wide, appeared out of nowhere in Teton. And it's got the park authorities on high alert. They swiftly closed off a large section of the park to conduct urgent investigations, determined to unravel the mystery and understand what this means for the surrounding landscape. Teton is no stranger to volcanoes. That's because of four geologic factors. The Tetons, on the other hand, are Wyoming's youngest range, dating back less than 10 million years, and that's why they're still around and haven't been eroded. But what makes the Tetons so special, apart from their age? The majority of the Teton range's rocks are among the hardest, toughest, and least porous known in the entire world. As a result, they are resistant to mechanical disintegration caused by temperature changes, ice, and water. They're primarily composed of minerals that undergo very little chemical decay in the cold climate of the Tetons, and the absence of weak layers prevents the tough rock masses from collapsing under their own weight. So they're able to stand their ground for a lot longer than an average mountain range. All of these conditions favor the preservation of steep walls and high rock pinnacles, but that doesn't mean they're totally unbreakable. They do degrade over time. Great piles of broken rock, or talus, cover the slopes of all the higher peaks, so it's obvious that even the strongest of rocks here. But that's not the only thing. A wide range of daily and annual temperatures causes minute contraction and expansion of rock particles. Stress and strain are produced by repeated volume changes, so although the Tetons rocks are extremely dense, they eventually give up because of the temperature and cracks form. Some cracks are on the smaller side, but others make their presence known. The researchers calculated the amount of water and heat flowing out of the springs by measuring the temperature and tracking how long it took for the deuterium to return to normal background radiation levels. This is a great way to test things out without having to deal with actual magma. Turns out, previous studies underestimated the amount of water flowing through the springs and the amount of heat leaving them. There's a lot of it and it's turned the volcano that was thought to be dormant into a ticking time bomb. Scientists say that it's only a matter of time before the massive supervolcano wakes up and unleashes a Category 8 eruption that could take the entire country with it. That's possible because Yellowstone doesn't just have a single dangerous volcano. We're talking about the Yellowstone hotspot. 
The Yellowstone hotspot is a geologic phenomenon that has played a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of the northwestern United States over millions of years. It's a stationary area of intense volcanic activity beneath the Earth's crust, responsible for the creation of the Yellowstone caldera and the geothermal wonders found within Yellowstone National Park. The hotspot is believed to have originated from a mantle plume, a vertical column of exceptionally hot rock rising from deep within the Earth. As the North American tectonic plate slowly moves across the hotspot, it creates a trail of volcanic activity. Over time, the movement of the plate has left a trail of extinct volcanic centers extending from Oregon through Idaho and into Wyoming, with Yellowstone being the most prominent and recent manifestation. Yellowstone's volcanic activity is a direct result of the hotspot. The hotspot fuels the magma chamber beneath the park, providing the energy and material for volcanic eruptions and geothermal features. This subterranean heat source gives rise to the iconic geysers, hot springs, fumaroles, and mud pots that draw millions of visitors to the park each year. The hotspot's influence extends far beyond Yellowstone National Park. It has left a trail of volcanic features and past eruptions throughout the region. For instance, you've got the Snake River Plain in southern Idaho is a product of the hotspot's volcanic activity. It is characterized by a series of lava flows and volcanic fields that were produced as the North American plate moved across the hotspot. As we've discussed earlier on in the video, all of the geothermal features work together to make Yellowstone the threat that it is. So keeping an eye on them is integral. Another key area of research at Yellowstone Volcano Observatory is the study of volcanic gases. Volcanoes emit a wide range of gases, including sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, and water vapor, which can provide valuable insights into the composition and behavior of the magma chamber beneath the Yellowstone caldera. Scientists use advanced techniques such as remote sensing and gas sampling to collect and analyze volcanic gas data from across the park, providing crucial information about the activity of the Yellowstone system. Despite the many challenges and risks associated with studying a volcano as complex and unpredictable as the Yellowstone caldera, the team remains committed to advancing our understanding of this natural wonder. In recent years, advances in technology and data analysis have allowed scientists to make significant strides in our knowledge of the Yellowstone system, including the discovery of previously unknown features, such as the shallow magma reservoir that lies just a few kilometers beneath the park's surface. Scientists work closely with federal, state, and local agencies to provide real-time monitoring and alerts in the event of increased volcanic activity helping to ensure the safety and well-being of the millions of visitors who flock to Yellowstone National Park each year. Because if they didn't, just for one day, and miss something, it could mean the difference between life and death. Death of not just the people in the park, but also the entire planet. Do you think we could make it through a Yellowstone supernova eruption? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next one.